welcome everybody and I want to thank my subscribers uh, who liked and subscribed the uh, very first day of uh, 2020 and this is a new venture for me and this is going to be exciting I've been an author and illustrator for hmm, as long as I can remember I was making books when I was just a, a young child um, 10 years old my father gave me his mimeograph machine so I could um, make copies of coloring books and activity books. We didn't have a lot of books growing up as a child. My mother would get groceries and bring home the A of the Funk and Wagnall encyclopedias or other encyclopedias that were featured. We never seemed to get past B. So um, maybe that's why I love books so, and that I got my library card when I was nine years old. But anyway, since I grew up in rural uh, Southeast Michigan in Clarkston, the outdoors was a natural playground for me. That natural playground of pine trees and ponds was an inspiration. And now today I live in the heart of the Manistee National Forest. So right outside my door, oh, a couple hundred feet from my window here is a bog and a marsh and a lake. And my studio is up in the pine trees. So I'm eye level with pileated woodpeckers and hawks and all kinds of birds and sometimes an occasional porcupine. So with learning about all of these animals, I've taken my programs into schools and talked to kids about when you're outdoors to keep your senses open. So today we are going to start at the very beginning. Now I know this channel is all about books, everything booky and everything arty, writing and illustrating. So we're gonna cover all of that because that's my passion. And I've been doing this now writing for about 13 years for children and doing art for over 30, over 35, closer to 40. So anyway, we are going to work with the basics. And as usual, I have my coffee and I'm going to take you through how to create field notes. So what is a field note anyway? Like I said, it's a simple tool and it's a valuable tool my most valued tool, and if I can't find my field notes, I go crazy because they are gold for me. Field notes are your primary sources for writing and um, illustrating. They are notes, just like what's in the title, in the field. And you're taking these notes using your senses. And if you look at this, this is a fun field note chalk of information you can see there. Oh my goodness.
sometimes. You might see little critters come running out in the evening. They look like gray, black hot dogs, little fat sausages, and those are voles, and there's a little tunnel. Looks like it's melted. There's another one right there. Those little voles. Here's something. Oh ho! I don't know if I can capture it, but take a gander at that. Is it pepper? Oh, it's hopping. Snow fleas. Snow fleas or springtails. You can see them hopping. That was our first book project. You folded a field note guide. This is the very first step in developing and creating a book. Um, and it may not seem that important to you, but it makes good practice. It's going to preserve that memory for you. You may not remember what you saw or smelled or touched or heard, and you pull out your field note, your primary sources, and all of a sudden, it's like the spark you're going to remember. It puts you back in that place, so that's kind of cool. So this is my little guide. The first thing that I heard when I went out there was that chickadee. And just drawing, it does not have to be a perfect image. Birds are egg-shaped and circular, and so it's doing a quick shape that will help you remember. What does it look like? Are there markings on it? Do you recognize it? Do you know who this bird is? So just putting, if you're out there and you see it, try to draw the, the, um, the uh, stance and the behavior, what's happening with it. And there were two chickadees that came into the feeder and they said, chickadee dee dee. Try to put down, write it out. Um, put the language that the animals are speaking. Is that a calm language? Is it uh, excited? Did they want me to move away from the feeders? Yeah, because she was given a chickadee dee dee a little bit urgently. So try to include those little notes in your field note. Then I heard, Peter, Peter, do you remember that bird? Tufted titmouse. It's the angry looking little gray bird with a little tiny tuft on its head, about the size of a chickadee. You put in. If yeah. you're writing children's books, get those sounds in there. You know, the pine whirring. What does a pine say? Have you listened lately? Go talk to a pine tree. Um, what does it have to say? It's dripping, it's melting out there, and we saw some tracks. And our big find of the day, our huge find of the day out in the snow, that biggest of big moments, itty bitty tiny snow fleas, no bigger than a dot on a page. That's cool. And that's why you don't eat snow, especially when it's old. But for our adventure today, I just drew little dots on the paper. So this is my big, giant, thick, notebook of all kinds of sketches that nobody has to see your field notes but you and this is the exciting thing is you are on your way to creating a book so I hope you enjoyed this video um, share it with your friends especially your writing friends and illustrating friends teachers homeschoolers you want to get kids out and using their senses get them out with a simple field note guide, and a pencil or a pen if it's not too cold outside. So get creative, grab your coffee, and get to work. Did you find a story?